after yellow. And when they go back green, he'll have a damaged race car. Let's go to Mike Joy. No comment from the Hill and Pitts. Harry Hyde is on the radio trying to anticipate the flag and tell his driver to go and win his second Super Speedway 500-mile race. Five laps to go. Hill and one at Talladega, Alabama. His only Winston Cup win. Car number eight lies second. The black number three, Earnhardt, third with five to go. Four and three quarters. Jeff Bodine right on his bumper. Bodine brought this caution flag out, but he's still running in the fourth position. Now Earnhardt trying to make a move on the inside of Hill and taking over second. And brings Bodine with him. Derek Cope on the outside, down on the inside. A little crack in the windshield perhaps on the right side of car number three. Earnhardt goes into first. Yeah, he didn't waste any time. Evidently, that bump didn't hurt him. We didn't see anything there as we watched Teresa Earnhardt watch Dale Earnhardt come around. And Earnhardt still shows the dominance that he's shown here all day long. That, that traffic behind Earnhardt is fulminated mercury. Anything could happen there. They're so close, so fast. A snarl of cars just behind the leader. Down to four, Earnhardt has separated himself as quickly as possible from the remainder of the field. Bodine, number 11, on the inside. On the outside, it is Bill Elliott. Bill Elliott is up to fourth. They're showing Bodine as a lap down net. Oh, really? Bodine well, a I lap down. Okay, I didn't realize he lost a lap during that uh, spin. Pulling back up on Earnhardt comes Derek Cope in that red Chevrolet number 10. And the car number one of Terry Labonte right in there running in the third position. Derek Cope has never finished better than sixth place in any of his racing starts. This will be his first top five finish. And look at him putting the pressure on Earnhardt. Huh. It looks like that run that Rutman made a few years ago in Lake Speed. Dave Despain. What are remarkable about the Colt performance is the fact that he's doing it on used tires. His crew chief, Buddy Parrott, elected to keep him out on that caution period to take the lead in the race. Earnhardt came in and got four tires, and nonetheless, cope has been able to come up and race with him. And here comes Terry Labonte. If the slingshot was ever called for, it would be this race today. But the carburetor plates have pretty much erased that possibility. Here you see the number five car of Ricky Rudd. He's in the sixth position. Front four, Elliott is hanging on to the tail of that draft. Bill Elliott, twice a winner, 85 and 87 right there. Jeff Bodine being recorded as a lap down, giving us these incredible pictures. They get ready to sort this one out. Number three, Earnhardt in front, and Derek Cope driving the race of his career stays in second place. The Spanaway Washington campaigner moves in again on number three, Earnhardt. And look at it moving up here, that Pure Leader sponsored car. Pure Leader is being sold now by its parent company because it doesn't fit in the scheme of things. And here it is running second in the Daytona 500, maybe winning it. The white flag coming down to Dale Earnhardt. One lap to go. Does anybody have anything left to cope with the man in black? Here's what's going to happen. Maybe. I thought Terry Labonte was going to try to move down and take over second place, and if he does, that'll just open it up for Earnhardt to move away. We'll see. But naturally, every one of them wants to gain a position, whether it's uh, for from fourth to third or whatever, but if, if they do get side by side, it'll help Earnhardt. This is the half a lap to go. Four-car shootout to decide it all. Dale Earnhardt. Here comes Duke Coke down on the inside. Whoa. Earnhardt has Earnhardt problems. Earnhardt slopping back. Something is amiss. Here comes the field driving for the finish. And on the outside, it is car number 10. Derek Cope, something amiss on the Earnhardt car. Coming to the line. It's Labonte pulling up. And an amazing finish. The Whitcomb Racing Team has won it. Unbelievable. Like Earnhardt had a tire go down maybe as he went into the turn. And Nicole crying a little bit. Brett Cope's first top five finish, his first victory, comes in the Daytona 500. A remarkable day of sport. Unbelievable. Bob Whipcomb, who brought a team out three years ago, had nothing but misfortune and bad luck. And Rick Hendrick who gave a car to one driver today to be in this race, literally gave it to him just, just to get him out of here, Hot Strickland, after uh, he was involved in that altercation. Now, he's put some motors together for this team. 
and they've won the biggest race of all. It's a great win for the Northwest. When you think of the years that they've had drivers come down here from the Northwest to race, this is the first time they have ever tasted a victory in the Daytona 500. Look again at what happened. Well, Earnhardt looked like he had things in command. All of a sudden, his Chevrolet just slows, and he goes up into the second group. Something happened to that car. I guess the engine. I thought he had a tire go down, but I believe it was something else. He lost power. Cope took advantage of it. Here's Earnhardt coasting around. Cope comes on to win. Terry Labonte will come home with a second-place finish. Bill Elliott in third. Let's go to Dave to Spain. Derek Cope still has a problem. He's on the radio to the crew chief, Buddy Farrell. What did he say? He don't know where Victor Lane is. 